Midnight Station, home of animated horror stories. I've always been a night owl, preferring the quiet and darkness to the chaos of the day. My friends would often poke fun of me, calling me a vampire or a creature of the night. They never understood the allure of night time, the way the darkness wrapped around you like a cloak, hiding you from the world. But as much as I loved the night, there was one walk home that will forever haunt me. It was late, around 2am, and I had just left my friend's house after a night of gaming and laughter. The streets were empty, lit only by the dim glow of the street lights and the crescent moon above. The air was crisp, a biting chill that hinted at the coming winter. I pulled my jacket tighter around me and started my familiar walk home. As I turned the corner, I noticed something strange at the end of the street. A woman, dressed in a tattered dress, stood beneath a flickering street light. I could see her breath in the cold air, but she seemed unfazed by the temperature. She was swaying slowly, her movements almost hypnotic. Curiosity peaked. I continued walking unable to tear my eyes away from the figure. As I grew closer, I realized she wasn't just swaying, but dancing. Her movements were graceful, a haunting dance that sent shivers down my spine. I was entranced, unable to comprehend the bizarre scene before me. I stopped a few feet away from her, my breath catching in my throat. She didn't seem to notice me, lost in her ghostly waltz. Suddenly, the streetlight above her flickered and died, plunging her in darkness. The sudden change snapped me out of my trance, and I felt an overwhelming sense of dread wash over me. The woman stopped dancing and slowly lifted her head. What I saw will haunt me for the rest of my life. Her face, once hidden by the darkness, was a pale, twisted visage of terror. Her eyes were filled with hate, and her mouth was lined with rows of jagged teeth. She let out a guttural, inhuman scream and began to move towards me with unnatural speed. I turned and ran, the sound of her screeching laughter echoing in my ears. My heart pounded in my chest as I sprinted through the dark streets, desperately praying she wouldn't catch me. I dared not look back, the fear of seeing her twisted face only a few steps behind me, too much to bear. Finally, I reached my house, fumbling with my keys as my hands shook with terror. I slammed the door shut behind me, collapsing against it, gasping for breath. The silence of my house provided little comfort as the memory of the woman and her haunting dance filled my mind. I never walk home alone at night anymore. The fear of encountering her again is too great. I don't know what she was or where she came from, but I do know one thing. She's still out there, waiting for her next victim to be lured in by her hypnotic dance. And if you ever see her, don't stop, don't stare. Just run and pray that she doesn't catch you.